In a world where data is crucial for any artificial intelligence projects, we thought it would be awesome as a place to start our Plain Talks journey. Now, transfer learning is a machine learning method where a model developed for a task is reused as the starting point for another task. Transfer learning is currently very popular in deep learning because it can train deep neural networks with comparatively little new data. In transfer learning, the knowledge of an already trained machine learning model is applied to a different but related problem. Transfer learning has several benefits, but the main advantages are saving training time, better performance of neural networks in most cases, and not needing a lot of new data. Usually, a lot of data is needed to train a neural network from scratch, but access to that data isn't always available. This is where transfer learning comes in. With transfer learning, a solid machine learning model can be built with comparatively little training data because the model is already pre-trained. It's really easy to get the wrong idea about transfer learning. This is not about progress and no longer needing lots of data for a machine learning model. It's actually about what data you need. It's about not starting from scratch, but making your starting point the ending point of somebody else's work. Let's bring it to life with a story. Our story starts with Yellow Magic Orchestra, or YMO, an electronic music group based in Japan, who in 1980 released their third studio album called X Multiples. One of the songs on this album was called Behind the Mask, for which the lyrics were written by Chris Mosdell. Soon after this song was released, it was heard by the world famous producer Quincy Jones, who played it to none other than Michael Jackson. Michael loved it straight away and tweaked the lyrics on the verses for his own version. Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones produced a version of this song together to be on the album Thriller, which was due to be released in 1982. Thriller featured songs like Beat It, Billie Jean and of course Thriller to name a few and was the biggest selling album in the world until 2018, selling a humongous 47 million copies. Unfortunately, an agreement to share royalties equally between the original writers of the YMO version and Michael Jackson broke down and this prevented the song from being released on the album Thriller. Craig Philangaines, who was the keyboardist on Thriller, a few years later took the song to Eric Clapton. This is where a third version of the song was created. Eric Clapton did manage to release his version. We'd get this, some changes to the lyrics that Michael Jackson wrote for his version, which at the time was still unreleased. One of the most powerful ideas in deep learning is that sometimes you can take knowledge that a neural network has learnt from one task and apply that knowledge to a separate task. Being able to have someone else's endpoint as your starting point and being able to use an existing model to solve a new problem with minimal changes or data, that is transfer learning. Let's bring transfer learning to life on the song lyrics of Behind the Mask one last time. So the second column here shows the lyrics of the Yellow Magic Orchestra version written by Chris Mosdell, who as you can see from this image also did not start from scratch. Prepare to be mind blown again, taking inspiration from a poem called The Mask by an Irish poet called William Butler Yeats who died in 1939 a whole 43 years before the first version of Behind the Mask was released. You can clearly see the inspiration from the Yellow Magic Orchestra lyrics from Michael Jackson in his version where he changed the lyrics of the verses. And again, you can see how Michael inspired Eric Clapton who made some changes to the lyrics Michael wrote 
for his own version released in 1986. So basically, if we relate this to transfer learning, the end point for the William Butler Yeats poem, The Mask, was the starting point for Chris Mosdell when writing the YMO version of Behind the Mask. The end point for the YMO version of Behind the Mask was the starting point for Michael Jackson's version. And the end point for Michael Jackson's version was the starting point for Eric Clapton's version. We asked you a question online last week. What does wearing masks, Michael Jackson and AI have in common? The answer, of course, is transfer learning. The topic for episode one of Plane Talks. Our first ever question comes from Yurik Zavery. I'm also curious about how robust the underlying data asset needs to be to provide the right foundation for AI. So data quality is very important as we have already discussed in the episode. And you should take your time to find out how your training data distribution might differ from the distribution that your system will see during testing. Are you asking the same questions of your model that you have trained it on? Also, a little bit of noise in your training data should definitely not discourage you from building awesome AI. So data is absolutely important, but at the same time, you need to make sure you have the right data to create awesome AI. Yurek, again, thank you for sending us your questions and getting involved. Remember, if you want to send us your questions, comments, suggestions, or ideas, please email tarv at plaintalks.co.uk. Remember to like, comment, share, follow, and subscribe to our channels, or visit us on www.plaintalks.co.uk. Plain Talks, episode one, done. I'll see you next time.